What's been reported to be the only amateur film in existence of the January 28, 1986 Challenger disaster has become public after nearly 25 years spent in a Florida basement. Retired optometrist Jack Moss shot the video from his home in Winter Haven, Florida, about 80 miles from Challenger's Cape Canaveral launch site that day. Moss, who passed away from cancer in December, had told his pastor that he could have the tape when he died. It took a while to find someone with an old Betamax video player, Moss's pastor told a reporter at the Guardian newspaper. But when I found the Challenger film, my reaction was that people really have to see this. That's brighter than usual. Yeah, it is. Well, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right over those trees. I saw it when it went through that hole. In the I don't trees. remember it being that, that bright and that big. Look I at don't that. either. What was that part? That must have been one of the boosters. Oh, look. There's two. It's going off into two. Hey, is that trouble or not? They're not having trouble, are they? I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. That's trouble of some kind, George. That's trouble of some kind, isn't it, or not? As fate would have it, Moss's pastor was Mark Wessels, a man who is also executive director of the Space Exploration Archive, a Kentucky-based group that collects space memorabilia. And so today we have this. The Space Shuttle Challenger was the second orbiter to join NASA's fleet. It arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida in July 1982. It became the first orbiter to launch and land at night and saw the first spacewalk of the Space Shuttle program. But the date everyone will associate with the Challenger is January 28, 1986. That's the day the Challenger was lost, just 73 seconds into mission STS-51-L. Six astronauts were lost, plus schoolteacher Krista McAuliffe, the first member of the Teacher in Space Project.